What's up YouTube? Luke coming at you. Um, haven't made a video in a while. Uh, had a little bit of pickups uh, since the last time I've made a video and um, show some pretty much all I do now is do some uh, set pickups and a little bit of PC uh, pickups but I'm not really prospecting or buying anything uh, to flip anymore. Just focusing on my set. I've got a a wedding to pay for now so that should be fun um, but yeah see what I've picked up in the last uh, month or two months now so for my five star set Joe Maurer pretty much limited to the low number stuff now to for this set David Wright Um, this is an extra, but always nice to have another Frank Thomas for some trade bait. Um, happy to get this one nailed down. Ken Griffey Jr. A little streaky, but overall pretty good auto. Cards in really good condition. And I used to be a really big Rockies fan, but they disappointed me way too many times. And they don't ever try and get better, so I moved on to being an Angels fan when I probably in like 95 or 96. But growing up in the first few years of the Rockies, I was a big uh, Andres Galarraga fan. All the Blake Street Bomber guys, Dante Bichette, Vinny Castilla, Larry Walker, all those guys, so... That's a pretty cool one to have, nice nickname one. For the Bronco PC, Monty Ball, Cracked Ice, get a little bit of that shininess. Uh, Von Miller pickup, numbered out of 25. I think that completes the rainbow for this. I have the 101 and the Emerald, and that was a silver one. Unless there's one that's numbered higher, then I need to find that. <clears throat> I had this uh, Von Miller 14 karat piece. And this one's numbered 1 of 10, and I've had that one for a while, but this one came up on a RAS site, and I took a few spots, and Michael, uh, this film not yet rated, took a couple spots for me, so I appreciate that, Michael, and the guy saw that I was really interested, the one who had spots before me, uh, backed out so that I could take the remaining spots so I could get this. And this one is also numbered 1 out of 10, so that's pretty cool. I have the two Von Miller gold pieces. And then out of this year's NT, got this little printing plate. Uh, one of one, of course. Nice little uh, jersey logo for the Broncos. And I haven't really showed off this set completed. Um, this one needs to get graded, um, and then I can finally make a video for this set, but pick this guy up. It came out in this year's uh, National Treasures, and that's from the 2012 National Treasures Greatest Set. Um, Michael, this film not yet rated, got an extra off of me, and I've been sitting on a whole bunch in my uh, display case waiting to show off once I'm satisfied with the set. So. It's coming soon. Um, for my 50th anniversary set, the ones that I've, the same set I'm doing is uh, Bearcat Joey. Um, I had a, we had a guy in our group that was making it, and he had to bail out, so I picked a few off of him that I needed. I'm at 55 of the 60 that have been released, supposedly. Um, we've never seen a Bob Greasy, but this is uh, Jan Stenerud for the Chiefs. And then Carl Eller. And then Joey's favorite card so far for the set, Forrest Gregg. Packer, fat guy, shiny card, on card, auto. I think that hits all his uh, major, major must for a card. Um, Ozzie Newsome, Joey needs this one, and I think the Bob Greasy, and he's caught up with what's been released so far. 
Warren Moon. Chris Carter. Eric Dickerson. Wish he would have stayed on card. A couple of other guys have ones that they stayed on card, so maybe I can get an upgrade later on, but overall the card is very clean. And then Jim Kelly. Signed in an odd spot, but happy to have that one knocked out. I think they're all signed small and in the corner like that, but pretty cool to knock those out. So I'm at 55. The ones I'm missing are Bob Greasy, um, Ronnie Lott, Deion Sanders, uh, John Riggins, and I can't think of the fifth one off the top of my head. And then a set that I was, that I'm slowly putting together. I'm not 100% invested in trying to build the whole thing because some of these ones are going to go. I know that the Joe Montana and Jerry Rice have gone way high. And the Tom Brady will probably get a pretty penny. But the notable nicknames from this year's National Treasures on cards. Um, some of the guys actually put their nicknames on it. So that's why I like it. But Andy Dalton, Red Rifle. Like this one, Manti Teo, Hawaii Five-O. Never heard of his nickname, but Ryan Tannehill. Now his nickname is Show Nuff. Frank Gore, the Inconvenient Truth. Fran Tarkenton, the Mad Scrambler. The only one that I've seen so far sign in all black, uh, Gail Sayers, the Kansas Comet, JJ Watt, and his is uh, JJ Swat, and it says their nickname right there in the hall of foil down below. Wish he would have uh, put his initials on there, but Terrell Davis. Um, when you see, if you ever see the uh, Ladanian Tomlinson, instead of signing his name, all he did was put LT. So that's kind of disappointing, just to have two letters. And for what they sell for, it is crazy. For just two letters, uh, John Riggins. This is Ringo. He also has another one. Um, he has two in the set. The other one's his nickname is Diesel. Len Dawson or Lenny the Cool. And he's embraced his uh, eliteness, uh, Eli Manning elite. Everybody knows his nickname, Matty Ice or Matt Ryan. And then this one kind of incorporated into his signature, uh, Michael Irving or Michael Playmaker Irving. And right there. I guess he's trying to put Playmaker in that scribble, but at least he made it a little different and put his number. So that's my uh, set so far on that. So thanks for checking it out. I hope everyone's doing well, and hopefully I can do another video after a BGS submission and have some good grades to show for it. Thanks for checking it out. Later.